Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about subfarm. <laughs> this is a kind of a play on words here for our multiple channel room. You can see in this picture what we've done with our subwoofers. Two things, you know, we minimize vibrations in the cabinets and you can hear that near field and it does translate far field. All right. People say, ah, it makes, it makes no difference. Well, the higher the resolution in the room, the more things that you change, you hear. Now, those that say it doesn't make a difference, I will say your room is not high enough resolution. That's the bottom line. You can't hear something if your room won't let you. So multiple channel, we have four subs at 13 half inches each. We have 16 eight inch drivers at the front of the house with the four channels because we took the center channel, we split it, remember? We have a left center, a right center, left and a right channel. So we have four speakers across the front of the uh, theater, and they're all the same type. They're all the same radiation pattern. They're all the same manufacturer. So timber and tonal qualities are all the same. And you need that consistency and predictability, just like you need that consistency and predictability in your treatment performance, okay? Low frequency management is best placed in two areas, around the source, the subwoofer, and at the room boundary surfaces where pressure is the greatest, right? So if you put the absorption close to the subwoofer in the, in the general area around it, you minimize the pressure before it gets out into the room. And that's what our goal is. You tighten it up, you tack in the decay that the subwoofer is able to deliver into the room is much, much better, okay? You need both areas to be treated. Start out with the boundary surfaces, obviously, because that has to be step one. You have to treat the whole boundary surface of the room with low pressure management so that you can get those peaks below 100 pushed down. That's the goal. If we push the peaks down below 100, the dips start to fill. It's not going to be a one-to-one -one relationship, but you will see the relationship if you are serious about getting the highest resolution of your room. Okay? Then you fine-tune with treatment around the subwoofer. We've had lots of... Uh, product in the studio that we move around constantly. So we're able to add so much square footage here, so much square footage here, so much square footage here, and see and hear the differences. Now I know you, you all at home don't have that option, but for purposes of these videos, we want to show you what's possible. There will be those, out, those of you out there that want to achieve that, get the highest resolution. There'll be those that don't. That's fine. No complaints either way. But you need to see what's possible so you can set your goals and strategies accordingly. Okay? It's all about rate and level, surface area coverage when it comes to low frequency. You got to go low enough, you got to get enough, and you got to cover enough. That's the bottom line. One unit here, one unit there is worthless with a pressure wave. You're dealing with waves of energy that are 20, 30, 40 foot long. How is two or three square feet of surface area gonna make an impact on a wavelength that big, okay? So subs, they vibrate. You can see in the picture what we've done. It's, it's constrained layer mass stamping. It's a common technique. We use, you know, mass loaded vinyl, MDF. We like the density of MDF. We like the cost. Mass loaded vinyl's gotten a little bit expensive these days, but this is how life goes. So as cost goes up, you got to generate more revenue to pay for these things. Don't say things are too expensive. Say, all right, prices are going up. I need to make more money. How do I make more money to buy the things that I need? You're not going to be able to control the price of things. All you can do is complain. Well, take the energy that you use in complaining and generate more revenue. My God, we work in capitalism, a, a system that allows you to do that. But people like to complain. I get it, okay? We don't have time for it. Near field uh, resolution, far field translation. When you minimize the vibration in the subwoofer, you can hear it immediately standing next to it. When you change cables, you can hear it immediately standing next to it. Speaker, power, it makes no difference. And if the resolution of the room is high enough, you can hear those near field changes. They do translate far field. Those that say they don't, their room isn't high enough resolution to hear the changes. But when you do, it's amazing. And remember, there's a synergy in acoustics. You gotta do a lot of little things, add them all up to get a good result. 
So here's our sub farm and our multiple theater situation and a little bit of the goal and design strategy behind it. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. And if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to. So please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple of days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis. So that'll help you. Thank you.